Well, those dog days of August, they are definitely barking today. Good evening <laughs> once again. I'm Mark Allen. Good evening. I'm Katie Houston. And if you think it's hot out now, just try putting on pads and running outside. Jordan Burgess shows us how we can take a lesson from the way high school football players are dealing with this heat. On a day like this, the heat can be tougher to tackle than Big Bruiser here. So we decided to take a look at the best way to deal with it, whether you're on the field or just an armchair quarterback. The sun is still climbing higher here at the home of the Lumberjacks, but already the team has found itself up against a tough opponent. It's nearly impossible to block. Even the best wideouts can't seem to shake it, and it's always pressuring the quarterbacks. It's the heat, and it can beat even the best of teams. It's pretty hot out here, and uh, it's tough. So like any good football team, Oakwood starts with a solid game plan for its two practices a day. It calls for a heavy dose of H2O. You drink a lot of water, and you got to pour a lot of water on your head. It's going to cool down your, your body temperature. But the fight to hydrate starts long before the first whistle ever blows. If they're hydrated coming in, then you know they're two steps ahead of the game, and, and it's better off for them. Preparing to take on the heat requires some advanced scouting. That's where this device comes in. It's called a digital sling psychrometer, a quarterback's term for something that measures temperature and humidity. You know, if it gets up to a certain heat index, you know, longer breaks, more breaks, shorter practice time. If it gets too hot, a heat index of 104, the Ohio High School Athletic Association forces you to forfeit to the weather and cancel practice. A far cry from the old days where you toughed it out. From the shoot back when I was in school, you had to take salt pills and you weren't allowed to have water. And those are two of the worst things that could happen. Nowadays, these players have an ice bath waiting for them. But what hasn't changed is that teams are still forged in the fires of August. It makes you tougher first. Few games are going to be in the seat, so I mean you got to get used to it. You can bet after today the players will have had their fill of this heat, but hopefully for all our sakes, Mother Nature stops pouring it on. Jordan Burgess, two news.